So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at various ways to embed style sheet in your document. Now we just have took a look at the single one, a single one that is the external style sheet. You see that we can include styles from different file using the link href tag and we are all good and set and ready to go. So there's that way. There's another way known as internal style sheet. Now, maybe you're just restricted to a single HTML file. I don't know, maybe not. But when you do that, what you need to do is in order to, you know, just, just make the most out of a single file, you can actually embed all the styles within these two tags, style and opening style and closing style. Now, whenever browser encounters this tag, it knows that the content between it is CSS, right? So you can just go ahead, cut this out, go ahead and just paste it right here. And it just works out magically just like before, right? So you see that we made no change whatsoever and it just works out of the box. You do not really have to make any change to your CSS syntax, nothing at all. Just make sure you wrap this inside stag and style and style, not, not inside PNP because you know, it just shows it just like a regular text. It has to be inside this opening style and closing style tag. So that is an internal style sheet, right? There's external, there's internal, and there's one more thing known as inline styles. So inline style means that you can actually, you can actually go ahead and target this very element on the screen by writing styles inside the tag itself. And there's an attribute called style for that. So style actually allow you to write CSS inside this attribute itself. And mind you that you're using um, quotes here, so it has to be single line. So what I'm gonna do is because we are already in the tag, so CSS knows that we are targeting this particular element, not tag, not class, nothing, this particular element only. So when you apply inline styles, only and only that particular element gets affected, right? Nothing of that particular tag, nothing of that particular class, nada. Just that one single element. So if I say it has a color of blue, it turns blue, right? So you see how I'm writing this? And if I want to write multiple things, I can have a semicolon and just continue. Border, you know, five pixel solid red. And there we are, right? Just like that. So I can go ahead and write the styles here. Nobody's really stopping me. But if you really want, you can just go ahead and write the styles inside the tag itself. Now, just a word of uh, advice from me. Always make sure you try to write your styles in a separate file from the very start because that keeps things clean and in order and would really help you in debugging issues with CSS as well later on when you're working. And always, always try to avoid uh, writing inline styles, at least manually, right? Inline styles is not really the best way to write styles, style sheets, best way to write CSS by hand. Inline styles is something which could be used for dynamic purposes like resizing on the fly, right? Because you can change the dynamic attributes of the CSS, um, of the HTML with JavaScript. You cannot really change the contents of this style tag with JavaScript. Well, technically you can, but it's not very convenient but it's super convenient for JavaScript to just go ahead, come inside the style tag and, you know, change a bunch of properties and just go back. So it's just leave this to the advanced use cases. For most part, you just have to write styles inside the style.css file, a separate file, link it using the link tag, and you should be good to go, right? So yeah, these are the three types of ways you can embed CSS in your documents. And that's all for this one. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next video.